it's almost like we've done this before, mate. Yeah, yeah. Day John, job, day lovely job, to see you again, my friend. You're brother. Yeah, good. Well, obviously, here we are. We're up at Stoneley. Yep. Last year, last time we caught up, John, we were down at Exeter. Yes, and indeed. you had to come down. You got a nosebleed coming down. I think you got past <laughs> Bristol, and you were struggling with that sort of <laughs> that far south. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't worry about. It. I've had yeah, to get. Yeah. I had to, I, Helga had to get. Um, and not inoculations come up this far up north. It was awful, mate. Yeah, she, yeah. she was cussing like hell. She was sitting in the back of the car and going, I don't want to go north, I don't want to go north, yeah. no. Nice to see how much the show's grown in 12 months, isn't it? Do you know what, mate? I'm looking at the number of people that have already turned up this morning, and yeah. we're still early doors. I know, and the car park's and full. Mike's not going to be complaining, is he? No, okay, no, so no. Anyway. But listen, obviously, I know you and I have worked on a project together. We've yeah. been working, obviously, with Ely yeah. and um, trying to help them design and build that new practical round. Now, I know you were heavily involved yeah. in doing a lot of st the stuff behind the scenes with David and the team. Yeah. Tell me about what's been happening, because obviously this is all being launched. Yeah, indeed, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, yeah. Is it not being launched today, John? It is today. Today, yeah. indeed, yeah. That's so it's, it's today, today launch day? It kept secret <laughs> until today, yeah. Um, so we, what, you're not keeping a secret anymore? Not anymore, not anymore, <laughs> not anymore. In fact, yesterday we had the first batch for testing and went down to our range at Worcester Norton cool, cool. and uh, got through about 150 rounds just testing it out. And it meets the, the, the what it says on the tin, basically. It is low recoil, um, low smoke, um, and the pattern is really good. We did some pattern testing, good. Uh, which I'll come back to in a second. First impression was it's quite a nice crack for the round. There's no more uh, recoil um, than, uh, say, an ED Blue, which is quite low recoil anyway. Yep. Uh, but there's a distinct sharp crack to it, and you can see that when you look at the pattern. Yeah. You half choke at 10 yards, for argument's sake, on the pattern test we did, <coughs> compared to an ED Blue, which I've been using for several years now, yeah. practically sh shotgun. Uh, the pattern is the same sort of area, but it's more dense in the centre. I think that's the important part, isn't it? The worst thing, you know, both of us have experienced, and I had it yeah. in France, was we went out to the French Nationals, and I had a flipping rogue pellet go ping, sure enough, what's it go and hit? The no, only no, no shoot, shoot in right, the yeah, area. Exactly, yeah. And you're thinking, thanks for that. Yeah. Um, that was, I then changed my ammunition. Obviously like you, I shoot Ely, I'm shooting the Superb. Yeah. I've gone up from the, uh, from the and I, I just like that a little bit more. It's, it's, to me, it had that really lovely low smoke burn, yeah. Yeah. Um, decent impact tight pattern Absolutely. but I think tell me the, these, this practical load which they've launched I think it's even better is it not I think it is um, first impressions again the case is nice it's a nice rim on it it feels nice when you handle it it's easy to twin or quad load from yeah. uh, 16 millimeter high brass which is good for extraction um, again straight out of the box with the first like, prototype almost yeah um, it ran as fast as you could 12 rounds through the gun as fast as you could pull on the trigger no misses no hesitations no hang ups nothing um, so, can you using your SX? SX3. Your SX3, and, and so yeah. The, and the uh, Benelli as well. Okay. So, there. did James come down and play as well? Indeed, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, he's yeah. obviously James is running modified and you're running standard, yeah. yes? Yeah, and with James with modified with a muzzle brake on it, of course, with the smoke being the acid test, is when you get it clayed up with some of the gun. And we do some videos and it's very little, very little. I mean, it's a wet, horrible, damp day. And it's, you know, a perfect day for hanging so smoke is, in is there. Isn't that a northern thing? Yeah, yeah, normal, yeah. normal, yeah. We're in the middle, don't forget, not north. We're not true north, lad. Whoa, 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 hang on, hang on. Yeah. I think it's Somerset. This yeah. is like, you know, I get a nosebleed, I come up here. I go any <laughs> further, I have to take oxygen, mate. Yeah, true, true. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, what, what, how are you getting on with your shooting in yourself? Because obviously, last time we caught you up for the show, there's yeah. been another season gone. Yeah, yeah. How have you got on yourself this year? Uh, surprisingly well, really. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure I've won the, uh, sort of the old Gits category, the Super Seniors again this year. So in, Super in, Seniors, you've got to be over 70, haven't you? No, over 80, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're running so, you're looking so good, brother. Over, yeah, yeah. I'm 67 now, so I'm over 60, yeah. It's yeah. Easy, over 60, yeah. yeah. It's amazing, amazing that's joking about the difference between being 60 and 67, not just seven years. It's like <laughs> light years when it comes to physical really deterioration, your joints creak, everything hurts. It's like, you know. And a friend of mine says, at least you know you're alive when you get up in the morning because everything hurts, you know. <laughs> Yeah. Hang on, I thought I was doing well in moving into senior. You know, you're really painting, paints this really lovely picture yeah. of how, what it's like to when you get older. Thank yeah. you, John. Yeah. So, how are you, and so tell me about the other shooters that you come up against. How are you finding, obviously, what do you have to do to stay ahead of the game for yourself <coughs> once you're as, as, a, okay. as, as, as a serious shooter, mate? Yeah, well, because of the, the deterioration in the last few years, I'm seriously, there is a noticeable, you know. I'm laughing with you, not at you, mate. <laughs> there's a noticeable drop in physical. Uh, prowess, shall we say, over the last five years. Yeah. So I've started going to the gym, I go to the gym twice a week with a, with a serious personal trainer. I've lost nearly two stone in weight sort of thing, which helps me knees and all the rest of it. And it does make a difference. And to try and stay on top, you know, 
this year, um, besides taking the British National Championship for Super Seniors, Good man. Uh, I won the French and came third at CISO in Europe, so not bad. Yes. There's hope for us youngsters, <laughs> should we say. This is an example of what we could grow into, should we say. <laughs> yeah. And John, I think the most important part is that you are an example, because obviously you've got your you've got son James and your daughter yeah. Faye as yeah, well. Yeah. Now obviously they all shot in France, yeah. and yeah. how are they coming on? Not bad. Um, they didn't do so well in France. Um, James had gun troubles, as usually yeah. does. I don't know why. But you do. I've had no issue with mine at all, like you know, with the SX3. Um, but James can, continues to have problems with his gun. I don't know what it is. I think it's him more than the bloody gun. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> however, so however, which do you think it is? Yeah, no, I'm <laughs> yeah, I think it's him. Um, he's still too eager. He needs to slow down a bit, doesn't he? He's like Tigger that, on speed. <laughs> yeah. Having said that, he's won the modified. He has, yeah. Season. Not sure about Faye yet, it's close first or second though. do you know what she has come on in leaps and bounds you know in the last 18 months yeah. from where she was and yeah. how she's come she is so committed to driving herself forward yeah. and making not just you know her shooting but she's bringing other people into the sport as well isn't she she is indeed she is indeed yeah we've got down at Worcester Norton again um, two additional new young ladies who are very keen on shotgun good um, one out of the two is a natural I think with Give her a 12 months to be on the circuit as well. So are you going to be nice and share a name? That this is a name we need to keep an eye <laughs> out for and look out, boys, because you're going to be chased around? Well, you could do, you could do, yeah. yeah, yeah. She's actually, at the moment, as well, head of the firearms licensing unit, which is useful. OK, well, we'll, we'll ask for her name at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> in that case, then. So, but it's lovely to know there's some new people yeah. coming out. Yeah. Although she's actually leaving the firearms licensing unit. Okay. Uh, <laughs> next week, in fact, uh, she joined the police uh, as an inspector. So okay, so we definitely don't want to know her no, name at the moment. Not yet, not yet, not yet. No, no, no. no uh, yeah. So, John, I think the most important part, mate, is it's another, it's another show. Um, you've got to go out and go and start seeing people because I know you're yeah. being dragged around from show to, from stand to stand. stand yeah. But as ever, my friend, catching up with you is a pleasure. Thank and you, um, thank you yeah. for the abuse. I mean, the interview. Yeah. And uh, look forward to next year, mate. All right. Well done, thank you. Cheers, mate. Thanks,